my name is Jiggy. I run Jiggy at his production company. Anyone else wanted to get into this field, like someone's asked, like, hey, I love to do photography. Who would you recommend? And as long as you, you know, persistent with it and doing, you actually grinding, you'll do good. Kingdom building. Reaching out to my community, yes, and I am the goddess of favor to each one of you and bringing it straight to your doorstep. All right, King, uh -huh. thank you for being here today and thank welcome to us. Kingdom Building Spotlight. Who are you and tell us a little bit about yourself. So my name is Jiggy. I run Jiggy at his production company and I do videography and photography. Fantastic, you were here last night? Yep. It was a wild night, right? We had a princess from Atlanta, Yoshi Sire. We also had Dro yep. with his clothing line. And I wanna thank you for bringing that production together. Of course, of course. It was really a blessing to have you here. And so here we are, the morning after we're wrapping everything up. Mm -hmm. A big success. Yeah, most definitely. And I think that it's, it's um, to me, it was a, a different experience, right? Because I'm kind of learning how to do like my own editing. It's a job, yeah. right? I recommend like just getting someone to do it professionally. Um, but it was kind of like I had this vision. I needed you to make it happen. Yeah. And every time I'm looking at you to make sure that <laughs> you understand. So we, when you have so many um, people playing a part, you can't control everything, but True. you kind of want to produce it. So tell me what's that like um, regarding your experience from last night and typically like what it's like every day when you're doing what you do. So um, I could say pre-planning is the best thing you can do when it comes to like shoes. If you can script everything out or, you know, have a structure before going into it, it makes everything a lot smoother. But, you know, being that I've been doing this for a long time, going with the flow and just like going on the fly, I can, you know, I, I can adapt pretty easily to doing stuff like That's that. That's very important. You uh, had to do a lot of adapting yeah. last night. And how long have you been doing this? For about four years. Four years? About four years, yep. Wow. And are you originally from Atlanta? I know a lot of people have come uh, and migrated here. Are you from no, Atlanta? Where are you I from? I was born in Virginia. Okay. Born in Virginia, spent a couple years in North Carolina, and I've been here for like 10 plus years now. Okay, yeah. okay. And what brought you into this this field? Uh, just happened naturally. I just had a camera, picked it up, and then I just took off from there. And tell us about some of the projects that you're working on. Okay, so um, I pretty much do everything. So music videos, documentaries, other, um, what can I say? YouTube series, web series, things like that. So I have a lot of things in the works. Um, it's a lot of stuff. It's a whole bunch. It's, it's and are you completely freelance? Is this your independent business? Or are you working for anyone else? Um, I'm 90% freelance, but you know I do a couple of contract work on the side every you know here and there, and then I have people bring me on to other jobs and stuff too, and then but I have a team as well, so we okay. are collectively. You so know. you actually have a production team, yeah. and you say like documentary, so it's yeah. not just about like you know you people not calling you out for a photo shoot. Yeah, like, not just that. <laughs> and so typically like. How how many hours do you invest a week? Is this full time? Do you do full anything time. else? Um, besides like other um, investments and like, you know, side side things, mm -hmm. this is my full time job. This is uh, your full time job. Yeah, and it, it, it seems like fun. It is. So you love it. Yeah, most definitely. I think it's important to um, enjoy your life. I always say like, what does wealth look like to someone mm -hmm. or, you know, and I define it as what? Don't worry about how I define it. Uh -huh. You tell me how you define wealth. I see wealth as being financially free mm -hmm. and having the chances and opportunities to do what you like in life and have fun. That's have what, fun. yeah. And just getting paid to do it. Yeah, most definitely. Right, and if you're doing this full time, it's definitely gotta be, you know, beneficial. It's taking yep. care of everything that you need to do. And I see you, you be fly. Yeah. I see you, be fly now. And you have awesome equipment. Um, Tell me um, if you could share with someone else, right? Because yep. we, this is a channel of building. If anyone else wanted to get into this field, like someone's asked like, hey, I love to do photography um, yep. or I love to do this. What would you recommend or what would be the steps to get them started? Um, I would say find you someone that's doing, you know, what you, where you want to be at or almost have like a mentor. If mm -hmm. you can find somebody that can actually help guide you through the steps, and then as long as you, you know, persistent with it and doing, you actually grinding, you'll do good. Just find you someone that you can like almost look up to and that can help you and keep pushing you at the same time. Absolutely, and with your equipment, yeah. I mean, I 
could imagine, what would be like the startup? Like, what would be like the original investment if you wanted to be? Is it important? And, and let me ask you this: yeah. Is it important because I'm finding myself like, um, even with us starting a YouTube channel, I, I have the vision, I have the idea, and we're constantly trying to push out new material. Yeah. Is it about quantity? Do you just need to get out there? If this is what you want to do, do you have to just jump into the field and you learn as you go, or is it um, important? Before, and, and then, how much would you invest if you? What would be the technique, and how much yeah. would you need to invest? Um, it's two ways you can go to it. You can go for the quantity route. I did a mixture of both. So when I first started, you know, I'm just getting projects in, boom, wrapping up, you know, just doing them, getting them out there and then exposing myself and what work I can do. Mm -hmm. And that ultimately brought me a broader clientele. But if you want to go for the more, you know, quality route, you can actually hone in on a specific subject or niche that you want to attack. And then, oh. yeah, then you could just, you know, hit target those clients and then, you know, you can also like jump your prices up very fast at that rate if you do it like that. If you really like it, right? Or so yeah. if you wanted to just zone in, like you said, yeah. on a particular niche, and if you say um, I want to do like corporate or ads, yeah. uh -huh. you would focus on that and then make sure that you are just the best at what you do. Yep. And that's how you drive up those rates and yep. it's quality. I really like that because a lot of times we think that there's not this um, business model that mm -hmm. we're following because it's a different type of craft or a different yeah. trade that you're learning. Mm -hmm. But it seems like it's with any other any business, you first have to have that need. So I'm guessing when you're finding that niche, you want to make sure that the need actually exists. Yeah. Most right. Yep. And that the community is there to support you. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just been awesome. Most definitely. Please drop all of your information so we'll know how to um, hire you if we need those services. Okay. okay, so you can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Jiggy Edits, J I G G Y E D I T S S. It's two S's at the end. Website, Jiggy Edits as well. Everything is Jiggy Edits. If you just look it up, you're going to find me. All right, awesome. This is God is a Favor with Kingdom Building. And thank you again, King. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.